Like it's pretty much always the case with French wine, Chateauneuf du Pape is a village before it is a wine or a wine appellation or an AOC. Chateauneuf du Pape is in fact a very charming little historic village located between the cities of Orange or Orange and Avignon in the Rhone Valley of southeastern France. The name Chateauneuf du Pape itself literally translates from French into the new castle of the Pope because in the early 14th century the Pope of the Catholic Church was relocated from Rome to the south of France to the city of Avignon to be precise which is next to the village of Chateauneuf du Pape. Little wine anecdote, the Pope at the time was Clement V, that same Clement that gave his name to the famous Chateau Pape Clement or Chateau Pape Clement in Pessac Leonia in the Bordeaux wine region that is so dear to Bernard Magrès, but that's another story. So how about the wines of Chateauneuf du Pape? Well first you have to know that the wines of Chateauneuf have been enjoyed by the Popes, of course, and the locals for all those centuries, but their fame on the international or even the national wine scenes is not that old. The Chateauneuf du Pape AC, the appellation, was one of the first to be recognized by law by the INAO, the French wine authorities, back in 1920, so it is one of the oldest official appellations in France indeed. Not a small feature, right? Yet the global reputation of Chateauneuf wine didn't really take off before World War II and even more so under the modern influence of global wine critics led by Robert Parker starting in the let's say the 1980s more importantly. RP loved somewhat the big dense and bold style of wines that Chateauneuf du Pape delivers. So Chateauneuf du Pape wines are mainly red although the whites of Chateauneuf are also excellent and rather famous but there's a lot less of them that are produced, they're even rarer. The powerful, rich and full-bodied red wines are made mainly from the three classic Southern Rhone grapes that are Grenache, Syrah and Mourvedre, the famous GSM blend you may have heard about. Although a total of 18 grapes, red and white grapes, which is rather unusual, are allowed to be blended in Chateauneuf wines, which is somewhat of really an oddity in French wine regulations. I made a whole video about the 18 grapes of Chateauneuf if you want to learn more about this particular topic. As you expect the climate in Chateauneuf is Mediterranean, that is dry, warm in winter, hot in summer, somewhat harsh and rough for the vines, which gives wines their concentration in combination of course with the soil and that is always, like always we love to say in French, the terroir. Soils vary a little around Chateauneuf depending on where you are like everywhere else, but there are always variations around the common theme of sandy and pebbly dominant soils, the archetypal Chateauneuf soil that everyone has in mind, even you may have seen pictures of it, are those incredibly covered, completely covered in round pebbles deposited by the Rhone River that the French call the Galet Roulet. Understand the rolled river pebbles. What else do you want to know about Chateauneuf du Pape? Well, top producers include Chateau de Bocaster, You'll find Chateau Rayas, those are some of the most famous and the most popular Chateau Neuf du Pape wineries. You will find Clos des Papes, Domaine du Pego, Domaine du Vieux Télégraphe and of course iconic, legendary Henri Bonneau. Um, prices of Chateau Neuf du Pape start around $40, $50 for the affordable ones, let's say, if you're lucky, and they easily creep up to $200, $300 or more, especially for small single vineyard cuvées. Now, the most expensive Chateau Neuf du Pape wine is one that is called Chimère, that is made by California star winemaker Manfred Crankle of Sinequanon, that is made with local winery Clos Saint Jean, that sells for around $1,000 plus for a magnum bottle that is. If you found this video useful please give it a quick thumb up before you go to support our work and share with fellow wine loving friends who also love to learn more about their vino. If you too like to learn about wine have a look around my YouTube channel where I share the passion and knowledge as a French winemaker with 20 plus years experience in the global wine industry and I will see you soon in the wonderful world of wine. Au revoir, santé, cheers, bye bye.